Every year, the new iPhone is the most anticipated phone. The iPhone 13 was released in September, and with it came some of the most significant upgrades to the iPhone since the iPhone 10. There's a lot to cover on this beauty, from leaks to renders, so without further ado, let's see the top things you didn't know about the iPhone 14 and stay until the end to find out the most iconic thing that iPhone 14 can do. Drop a like on this video and let's start iPhone 14 Pro chimes a startup sound while turning on. While all current iPhones do not make a sound when turned on, they simply display the Apple logo and turn on when the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max include a startup and shutdown sound, which is similar to the iconic startup sound on Macs. The toggle switch for turning on off the sound is located under settings accessibility power on and off sounds. According to renowned assistive technology reporter, Stephen Aquino, the feature was added to assist blind and low vision people. When the user's iPhone starts or shuts down, the sound alerts them. While the feature sounds interesting, it's unclear why Apple isn't including it in the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus. According to 9to5Mac, the chime is part of the A16 Bionics bottom, which may explain why it is only available on Pro models, standard models come with last year's A15 Bionic iPhone 14 and 14 Pro models come with same Wi-Fi chip as iPhone 11. While we all expected Apple to upgrade the Wi-Fi chip to Wi-Fi 6E with the iPhone 14, the company has decided to stick with the same Wi-Fi 6 chip that debuted with the iPhone 11. Fortunately, Apple has upgraded Bluetooth to Bluetooth 5.3. The new LC3 codec was released last month, and the addition of Bluetooth 5.3 to the iPhone 14 Pro means that it can transmit signals at a much lower bitrate without sacrificing audio quality. Emergency SOS via satellite cost is free only for now. Apple discussed the new satellite communication capability of the new iPhones extensively during its keynote yesterday. For those who are unaware, the satellite communication feature on the iPhone 14 series allows users to send out SOS texts in the event of an emergency. According to Apple, the service will initially be available only in the United States and Canada. It will be available in November and will be free to use for the next two years. However, it is unclear how much the service will cost after the free trial period expires. You can turn off Always On Display. With the release of the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, Apple finally added an always-on display mode to the iPhone. The iPhone 14 Pro slash Pro Max's new LTPO display can go as low as 1 Hz, saving energy and allowing Apple to add the feature to its lineup. It functions similarly to the Apple Watch in that you can check notifications, time, and battery levels without waking up the display. You can, however, disable always-on display in your iPhone settings to save some battery life. Google Fi, Consumer Cellular, and Mint Mobile won't support iPhone 14 at launch. According to Apple, all iPhone 14 models sold in the United States, including the Pro models, will not include a physical SIM card. The new iPhones will instead rely solely on eSIM connectivity. Users will be able to download their SIM card while configuring their new iPhones. Furthermore, the iPhone 14 can store up to 6 ESAMs at once, while the 14 Pro can store up to 8 ESAMs at once. Two SIM cards can be activated at the same time. If you plan to buy one of the iPhone 14 models, you should be aware that it will not support Google Fi, Consumer Cellular, or Mint Mobile carriers at launch. Apple says the iPhone 14 supports only six major carriers as of now. They include AT&T, T-Mobile, Truephone, Ubijai, Verizon Wireless, and Visible. So if you're planning to upgrade to iPhone 14 and own one of Google Fi, Consumer Cellular, or Mint Mobile SIMs, you should contact your carrier's customer support to find out if your iPhone goes well with their network. Your iPhone 14 will get less hot. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus run on the same chip as the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. In comparison to the A15 Bionic variant used in the regular iPhone 13, the enhanced A15 chip has 5 GPU cores rather than 4. The additional GPU core should boost graphics performance in games and other apps. Apple has redesigned the internals of the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus to better manage the heat with the more powerful chip. These changes will allow iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus customers to get more battery life, use apps and games for longer periods, and do more without their iPhones becoming too hot to touch. iPhone 14 Plus is a battery monster. 
According to Apple, the iPhone 14 Plus has the longest battery life ever in an iPhone. The iPhone 14 Plus has a larger battery than the iPhone 14 due to its larger size. The larger 6.7-inch display was previously only available on the most expensive Pro Max iPhones, which also had a larger battery. Unlike the iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro Max, the iPhone 14 Plus lacks the most advanced and battery-consuming features, such as a promotion display. Because of the lack of advanced features, as well as the larger battery and internal design updates, the iPhone 14 Plus is the best iPhone for customers who value long battery life. Apple claims that iPhone 14 Plus customers can get up to 26 hours of video playback, compared to the standard iPhone 14's 20 hours. Selfies now have autofocus. For the first time, the front camera on the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus supports autofocus, making images sharper and more detailed. The front-facing camera on the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus now has a larger aperture, which results in a 2x improvement in low-light performance. The iPhone 14 colors, brighter red, lighter blue, and new purple. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus will be available in five colors at launch, midnight, purple, starlight, product, red, and blue. The colors have been slightly tweaked in shade and brightness when compared to the iPhone 13. The new product, red iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus are significantly brighter than the red iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini. Other colors, such as blue, have been made less saturated on the iPhone 14 compared to the iPhone last year. At first glance, colors like Starlight and Midnight remain unchanged. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus are available in a new purple color option not available with the iPhone 13, and the iPhone 13, which remains in the lineup, is available in a green color option not available to iPhone 14 customers. This brings us to the end of the video for today. Please leave your personal opinion in the comments section, also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and don't forget to like the video.